We need ideas to be creators. These ideas form our content. The words, the pictures, the sounds, the way we put all these things together. Before we make anything tangible, we make ideas. But we need to get our ideas from somewhere too. We need inspiration. But where do we find inspiration? Think back to your last project. What got you to start? What was that beginning spark? Was it a place? The force behind your house? Or skyscrapers around your office? Was it something you saw? Was it the sound of a certain song? The smell of a certain food downstairs? It could have even been someone else's creation. Think of your senses. Which one brought the most feeling? Take that thing that inspired you and put it into a category. A song, a food, a painting, and so on. The forest behind your house is a place. Now think of the specific details of your inspiration. That forest is a place of nature. It's full of trees. Use these details to find similar things that could also act as inspiration. Go to another forest. Maybe go to the sea. You now have options to choose from, to test out every time you need to think of something new. Make these options mobile. We don't always have the chance to walk around to get an idea. Sometimes we sit at our desk and have to just wonder. So we need a piece of our inspiration to carry with us during these times. Take pictures of those forests. Wear headphones to hear those songs. The more you practice this, the greater your arsenal of inspiration will grow. But what if that first inspiration hasn't happened yet? You haven't started your first creation. Experience things. Put your senses in new places. See what suddenly moves you. Inspiration will come to you. And soon, you won't have to wonder where to find inspiration because a part of it will always be with you.